So when you spoke about talent acquisition, I was in the job search market uh, back in 2015, um, uh, sorry, 2017. And I used to pump out resume like 100, 100 120 resumes every single day. Mm. And I know that nowadays there's a system that reads mm. your resume and you know you have to input the keywords that goes into it. Uh, basically, like my friend told me this idea, make a one and a half page resume and next half page just leave it blank but what you do is in white font just put all the keywords as much as you want and your resume will get picked that didn't work out for me Mm -hmm. so my question is what is the best way to write a resume that will reach the um uh, recruiter right so this is a very um big question in our field right how to get through um, um and ensure that the person who's recruiting you finds your resume out of the big lot that they, uh, you know, every day uh, receive. How is it uh, that you can make, ensure that, you know, your resume stands out? This is a very important and uh, uh, something that can, as candidates, people have to really put conscious efforts into this. This should not be just something that's written on the CV, something you just shoot in the dark to various companies. Uh, You know, today everything is just a click of a button. So, you know, you're searching jobs. There's just apply now option. You just keep clicking on that to just get through to somebody. You know, you just want somebody to look into your profile and hire you. But that's not the right way. This is what adds to, um, you know, a huge list of um, uh, CVs uh, sitting uh, coming to the uh, recruiter's email box. Right. So this is something one um, as a candidate, I would not recommend. Rather, uh, firstly, to answer to your point on um, how to write a resume, the resume should be as crisp and to the point as much as possible. See, nobody wants to know about how, um, you know, what you do in your job. So I come, I log in, I open this uh, (laughs) database and I look into this. this, I've seen like people when they enter their uh, job, you know, first job, second job, they're just writing such transactional things that they do in their job. That's already a process. Somebody's already set that for you. Every company does it. And you're writing the same thing. So what's, where is you in that? What is so unique that you are doing there? So it's more about the how. How is it that you are doing your job? That's what makes you stand out. That's what's you as an individual. And um, you can make that more uh, personal uh, to the person who's you know reading your resume. So try and put as many things about what you do in your job. Um, You know, it could be achievements. It could be process improvements, something that really uh, brought a significant impact on the business or the teams that you're working with. So highlight those than talking about your regular routine work that you do. So this is definitely a big uh, thing. And this can also make your CV crisp, right? You can just... Uh, talk about two, three companies you have worked on and what all you've done here that that really stands out. So this is going to help uh, the person who's um, reading resumes to actually pick your profile. Um, It is true that uh, in any company, the person who's uh, recruiting is a very powerful person because they have that they have that chance and control on which CV they pick up and present to their company versus which to leave out. So it is important that the recruiter should really be uh, attracted to your resume. So whenever um, a candidate wants to apply for a job, there are multiple channels to get through, right? So there is the emailing option, you know, find out the email ID of of either HR or any employee in the company, send out your resume. And then there is the career page, of the companies and then there are also employee referrals within organization employees are rewarded for referring so there are referral rewards that they get so most employees are always looking to refer uh, people to their company because it in turn you know there's monetary benefits for them so this is also a great way to you know uh, try and uh, make your cv reach the right person within the company and yeah, if you're emailing, definitely something to look into, uh, very important would be 
the email body and the subject line what you write right it can be crisp it can be just be a synopsis or summary of what you bring to the table what you know what uh, you're specialized in but please do write you know don't send a empty email with just an attachment saying my cv okay do not do that i have seen many people do that uh, that's definitely not a good uh, way to approach i mean it talks a lot about you how you write you know what you uh, call out um, you know in your uh, the career profile so it is important i think these are some of the things i can think of on top of my my mind raghu awesome that's uh, that's amazing you have a lot of insights and i i am also guilty about uh, sending emails just saying pfa and my resume yeah i'm also guilty about that i i also done that early in my career <laughs> i have also sent so many profile now i know how how it feels of course like i i have now enough experience i don't personally look into profiles i have my um juniors who you know do all the screening and uh, they do majority of the you know headache job but uh, yeah early in my recruiting uh, you know career i've seen this a lot 